Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you everything I have in bloom for the month of March. And I'm really happy with my collection right now. So I've done a lot this month. I flushed the entire collection last week and I repotted about 12 different orchids and I am slowly getting ready for spring. So you'll notice that there's less and less orchids in the semi-hydro setup. I just found that long-term it wasn't working out well for me. Um, after a period of about two, three years, some of the orchids declined. Some are doing well, but I've just decided uh, bark and sphagnum moss works a little better in my environment. We've got a lot of blooms that have come in, some reblooms, some newer orchids, some that I haven't seen in a while. And my Hoyas are growing like crazy. They grow a lot faster than orchids actually. I've been really enjoying them and um, I just have to be careful because they grow so fast and they take up so much space, but I've tamed all of my Hoya vines. They were kind of going everywhere. Some of my seedlings, they've been going into bigger pots because they've been getting larger. This one is my Phalaenopsis amboinensis. A lot of my summer blooming falls are taking a break right now, but I've repotted a lot of cattleyas. I repotted mostly cattleyas actually into regular um, plastic pots with drainage holes. I'm gonna sh show you my vandas in a bit. This uh, jungle eyes is blooming once again. It needs a repot once it's done blooming. And in general, I'm just really happy with the collection, how everything's looking how everything is growing. And as I get everything into a new setup, I know it'll do even better. Um, and yeah, minimal pest issues, lots of blooms. I feel like I'm ready for the spring and um, ready for the growth and the warm temps. And that's when the orchids really, really start taking off. So someone asked for an update on my Vandas and I wanted to show you how they were doing. So the Vandas that I repotted a couple of months ago, it's been five, six months, they're doing well. Um, my Vanda Vietnamica though, it lost a bunch of bottom leaves, but I think it's because I don't missed it that much. Um, but otherwise everything else is doing pretty well. I'm gonna show you my, um, that is my Neophenicia falcata, the one that was in semi-hydro that started dying. It is pushing through. It's got one fan, but it's got new root tips that are coming in, which is great. So I think this is going to pull through. It's just set back significantly. Um, and then that, um, that little Vanda in the front, I'm going to show you in a bit. Um, this one is the yellow dragon, I believe. This is the only other one that's not really doing well. Um, that was in semi-hydro and it didn't really adapt. But anyway, let me show you the other orchids in bloom. So the first orchid in bloom is the Phalaenopsis Sweet Memory. I love when this orchid blooms. I got it on my birthday two years ago and it's been growing really, really nicely. It's got a wonderful fragrance. Um, someone told me that it smells like Viva La Juicy perfume and I would have to agree with them. I love the way this smells. It's quite strong, it's very perfumey and it's just a really good one. There was a grower on YouTube called Natty's Garden and she had three or four of these. She was obsessed with these. And in the beginning, I didn't know why and then I smelled it and then I realized, well, the circuit is pretty special. So I get it now. And every time it's open, it brings me a lot of joy. And um, this is a keeper. Now it's growing a lot of roots and I'll have to repot it real soon. And I'm sure it's going to get quite big on me. The next orchid in bloom is this one is my favorite this is the iwanagara apple blossom fantasy pink and this orchid is just so lovely i got it as a gift from my friend ray this is the third time that it blooms for me i repotted it back in october or november and it didn't skip a beat it pushed out four buds i have three open here for you guys sorry about my finger right there and it smells so good it smells like a combination of honeysuckle and rose the colors are beautiful i love the flaring on the petals it's got like pink on the edges that yellow in the middle is beautiful and then we have that extra bud that comes in later 
And I noticed in the past that it would bloom sequentially. So the spike actually extended and gave me more bloom. So we'll see what happens this time around. But I'm really happy that I was able to remove the back bulbs and this did not skip a beat. I find these blooms so perfect, so beautiful and so fragrant. The next orchid in bloom is a species, which is, this one is a cross between two different kinds of tetraspis. It's the C1 by Mr. Huang. This was gifted to me um, by my mom and she got this at Orchid Classics. I find that this orchid blooms sequentially and it is in bloom pretty often for me. It's got a fragrance. It's not floral. It's kind of like a plasticky fragrance, but not, it's not unpleasant like the Amboinensis. It's like a, it's hard to describe, but I would say it smells a little bit like plastic. So it's interesting. I find that this time around, each of the blooms, most of them came out white. A lot of times this one has different speckles on every single bloom. So they're all um, kind of unique. But in this, this time around, I just got like two or three flowers with the speckles on them. And it's really cute. I, I love how unique this one is. Up next, we have the Proctavola or Vonera or whatever they call it now, the Key Lime Stars. This is a cute one. I've had it for a long time. It's really vigorous. I made a mistake in repotting it and I'll tell you what I did wrong. Um, I repotted it while it was about to bloom and I divided it and look at the bulbs in the back. It really set it back. So a lot of leaves started falling off and I should not have repotted it when I did. So if I were to do it again, I would just let it bloom or cut off the blooms to repot because it put all its energy to bloom and not really to grow. So now I've definitely set this one back. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this orchid smells to me like sunscreen, so it's interesting. It's not unpleasant. It's pleasant, but it's not what you expect. Um, and it's a reliable bloomer. Now this next one is very reliable. So this one is my very first Phalaenopsis orchid that I ever got. First orchid ever, actually. I've had this orchid since 2014, so I've had it for 10 years, which is crazy to me. And I almost killed it. It did not like semi-hydro. It lost a ton of roots, but it bounced back in the best way possible. I'm gonna show you the root system on it. It gave me a beautiful cascade of blooms. And when I repotted it back into bark and sphagnum moss, the root system just went crazy. And this is part of the reason why I'm moving from semi-hydro back to bark and sphagnum moss as you could see i use a whole lot of bark and a little sphagnum moss just for more moisture and that seems to promote lots of root growth for me i'm very happy with this orchid i hope to have it hopefully for the rest of my life we'll see <laughs> it's so cute okay this next one is one of my um popular and i want to i always want to say it's one of my favorites but i say they're all my favorites this one is one of my top 10 favorite fragrant orchids. This one's a Patanera Barana Beauty Barana. I'm not a fan of the bloom because I just don't love the combination of yellow and red, but if you smell this orchid, you'll understand. Um, I believe Miss Orchid Girl referred to this as a tea rose fragrance, and I'm gonna have to agree with her. It smells like this delicate tea rose it's strong, it's beautiful too. It, it's just a beautiful fragrance in general and it's a very reliable bloomer. I repotted this last, last spring. I divided it in a video with you guys and it bounced back pretty nicely, gave me two blooms. Hopefully next time I'll get four like I normally do, but I love the fragrance on it. This next one is one of my favorite dendrobiums. Here I go with my favorites again. But this one is constantly blooming, but it's not, usually it gives me a full show in the spring and summer, but it gives me these tiny little flushes that I wanna show you. And what I like about this one is that it smells like gardenia. It's an easy grower. So many of my friends have cakeys and theirs are blooming, love it. Next up is the Phalaenopsis Chang Ji Lady. 
And this is one of those novelty hybrids that blooms. And when it blooms, these blooms last for like four or five months very easily. So this is one of my waxiest Phalaenopsis uh, flowers. And it's so fragrant. So this one smells like a pack of juicy fruit gum. So it's got a very fruity fragrance. I purchased this from Hauserman Orchids. Actually, no, it was gifted to me from someone who purchased it from Hauserman Orchids about three and a half years ago. It's really nice. It's got a really good red color. There's lots of substance on these blooms. And the good part is that they last for a really long time. So it blooms twice a year for me, but that means that because it blooms so long, it's pretty much in bloom all the time. So it's one of those that it's a must have for my collection and I really enjoy it. Now this next one is the Cattleya Jungle Eyes. This is back in bloom once again. It bloomed in December and then it pushed out another growth outside of this little pot here. And I got a repotted ASAP as you can see. We got roots that are coming out. This is one of those Eclandier hybrids. I think I'm gonna make a video on Eclandier hybrids in general because I have a lot of them and they're starting to bloom for me now about three years after I purchased a lot of seedlings and I've been enjoying them. I find them very fragrant. I'm finding them vigorous as well. They grow really easily. And I don't know what to say. They're just really pretty. Like it's this one has those spots. It's got like a velvet shimmer on the, on the lip. It's nice, but it's gonna be a pain to repot this. Oh, just like the Pekka Viensis I repotted recently. These kind of grow all over the place. So I gotta get a handle on these, but I love it. Okay, up next, we have the Oncidium Golden Afternoon Rich Yellow. And this was one of my first orchids as well. So after I got the um, Phalaenopsis I showed you, I got one of these and I got a Sherry Baby as a gift from my mom. And this one had no ID for so many years and someone ID'd it for me. And it's cute, I like it. It's, um, it's got a little subtle fragrance. It's hard to place, it's not floral. Um, but it's a little subtle, maybe it's like honey? I don't know, maybe I'm saying that because of the color, but this one's super cute. It blooms once per year. Um, I'd say, and I divided this with you guys last year. Um, I made a video that that video has become pretty popular. So I'll link it for you guys down below, but it's a cutie. It looks like popcorn colored. It's so, so cute. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is my Hoya Croniana Super Silver. So like I said, um, my Hoyas are growing like crazy. So I repotted this one and I wanted to show you the blooms because these blooms are tiny, but they fill my entire apartment up with fragrance. So even in my living room, I could smell them, even though these are in the plant room. Let me know if you have this Hoya and let me know what you think of the fragrance. I made a poll on Instagram just to see if people like it or not. And it's mixed because some people hate it and say it's like an old lady perfume and some people love it. So let me know down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.